YouTube, friends list, whatever. This is Rain Phoenix coming back again with another vlog. Uh, just had another great day of shopping. Didn't pick up too much though. Just my regular do refresh, as you can see. There's none left in there. It's all gone. There's no more do. I got like two in there. Let me see. Yeah, three, technically. But either way, I'm ready. Got some gaming to do. Looking forward to Avatar December the 7th. And that's what happens when a game comes out. I try to stock up for it. So, how are you guys doing? What's going on? I say that like you can answer me. That's just me being positive. Like in Atari, you have to use your imagination. So I'm imagining you guys answering my question and you guys are all doing good. So that's how that's what happens. I need my other hand for a minute. All right. All right. Uh, my vlog is going to be about, again, staying positive. That's my whole motivation. Staying positive. Smiling when you don't want to smile. Being happy when you don't want to be happy. Smiling through whatever and whenever bad times come up. Don't even think of them as bad times. Because through everything you go through, from this week, next month, next year, and so forth, main thing is to be positive stay positive find something you like doing and make it last I said that in my last, my first vlog this is my second ever vlog but be positive stay safe always 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 if you can help it do the right thing now there's going to be some skeptical people that nobody ever does the right thing right you can tell them I do there's not all always I do the right thing. I want to. The, I don't always want to do the right thing because there are times it's like, you know what? I shouldn't do that because they did this to me. <sighs> Ever heard that saying, two wrongs don't make a right? Well, one good term deserves another. Everybody that does good is not out for good. And everybody that does bad is not out for bad. But the thing is, you have to know when and where to do that thing. Like, if you're going over here to help somebody, don't let your help be seen. There's this guy on Instagram, and all he does is give these bums money. Whether he knows these bums or not, he records it because he wants people to see what a good guy is. The only thing wrong with that is he's doing it for recognition. I could care less who sees this. If I'm helping somebody, I'm, or if I help a bum or something like that, I'm not going to post it on Instagram because social, social media is not where I'm getting my, what's the name from, my recognition. I'm not doing it for any recognition. I'm doing it because, you know, so God can, you know, I'm not doing it in the streets to be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, I have my reward. They have their reward. I don't care if you see me do something good or not. I'm not saying I'm a humanitarian, but if I do something for somebody, know that I don't want anything back from it. If I give you a hundo, don't give me 200 back. Because chances are, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but chances are I'm not going to take it. For the simple fact that I'm just trying to help somebody out. If my hundred dollars can make you smile and you need it that much, what you do with it after I give it to you is up completely up to you. But if I give you thirty dollars, don't give me sixty back, don't give me ten back. I'm not doing it to keep you in debt to me. I'm not doing it to get anything back. Just smile. Well, you that one smile, that one smile you give me. It stinks enough. I'm not a big money hungry person like that. I'm not saying that because I have money saved up. I'm not saying that because 
I'm without anything. Am I rich? Far from it. Am I well off? Some people say I am, but far from it. Am I happy and content? Far from it. The thing is, you're happy and content when you're, when you say you are, when you know you are. Am I happy and content? Far from it. But so far, I am happy with what I have. Where's my frappe? Hold on. Where's my frappe at? I'm finally missing it, huh? Yeah. My frappe. The heck did I do with my drink that fast? Are you serious, baby? Hold on a second, guys. Got it. Got it. Mocha frappe. Caramel. Well, I stirred the caramel in already. Shot of espresso. Man, that is crack to me right there. <sighs> Let me turn on my lights here. This is going to take, this phone takes forever to turn on. You know what? I think I'm going to use this. This is how I turn my lights on. When my freaking thing takes forever. Where are you, Gove? Ugh, I hate Lenovo. I think I have to re-download the app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not here. Like it or not, look at all the stuff I pulled out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Just know it's gone. Oh, I know. Yep, Gove is not there. So I gotta wait for this thing to. Oh, it's on. That was quick. I didn't even hear it power right on. <laughs> What in the heck? I, I don't know what that is. It was down there in the thing. He been. How'd they get down there like that? What is it? Right. <laughs> that looks really foreign. You guys, what I want to say also <clears throat> is don't let anybody discourage you from doing what it is you want to do. If you got your mindset to something, do it. Don't let somebody what if you to death. Because if you let somebody, if you tell everybody your dreams, it's not going to, it's not going to prosper because they're going to try to stop you from doing it. <laughs> the thing you want to do is the only thing that can stop you from you is you. The thing you want to do is stay focused on you. You can't tell everybody your dream because everybody's not going to have the same. Everybody's not going to have the same dream you have. Everybody's not going to have. <clears throat> everybody's not going to have the same drive you have. Everybody's not going to have the same. That's my window. In my infinity throne. But, um, go to YouTube. But, yeah, do something for you because you want to do it. Don't try to please everybody and make everybody happy. If they ask for something, you know, what would it kill you to help them with it? If they ask you for $5, $10, $30. I used to say, if you want to get rid of somebody, loan them some money. And I used to say this for years and then I had to stop because I was doing it for the wrong reason. 
I used to say, however much money you loan them, you will never see them. If you don't want to see them for three years, loan them $100. You'll never see them for three years. If you don't want to see somebody for a week, loan them, loan them $10 to $20. You won't see them for about a week or two. Loan them $50. You won't see them for like six months. You loan them $100, they're gone. They'll leave the face of the planet. You'll never see them again. But I, it came to me that, you know, I mean, while they might, that might help, but it's, I mean, yeah, it'll help. But the thing is, don't do something to get rid of somebody unless they're being a bad influence, unless they're always tugging you down. And the only reason they can tug you down is if you let them. You can have all the, pe the positive people or negative people in the world. And if they lag, if they lagging you down, get rid of it. You know, drop the anchor and move on to another plane. You don't have to sit there in the same spot. Elevate yourself. Keep your mind focused and keep your mind straight on what you want. If you be straight on what you want, nothing can stop you from getting there. It sounds like I'm being a philosopher or a philosopher, philosopher, philosophy to you but I'm not like I said in my previous blog vlog life is what you make it it's either going to be positive or it's going to be negative are you going to focus on the news where they said that lady threw her baby in a dumpster or are you going to focus on finding something that you can control you have to control it if you can control it, that's what you focus on. Don't focus on, I'm not saying don't care about these places, but don't focus on Iran and Russia and all these other politics and stuff going on because you have no control over that. You're ruining yourself by worrying about something you can't control and you have no authority over. You have authority over your life. That's why you can control it. That's why you're always sad because you're allowing yourself to feel sad. Don't focus on something you lost just because I mean yeah it's gonna bother you and hurt but the thing is once you get that center of peace there's nothing that's gonna knock you off people ask me all the time why am I so happy well this is why I'm staying positive don't worry about what people say don't do nothing for somebody else's recognition don't do it for social media or social acceptance because this is what I think of social acceptance you know, nobody can have control over my life to make me say, oh, well, do you like this or do you like that? No, if I do something, it's because somebody asked me to do it and I enjoy doing it. Somebody asked me something, I'm going to do it because guess what? That's what I want to do. It's not because somebody made me do it. Nobody held a gun to me and made me do it. I did it because I wanted to. Be safe, stay scared, and have a good holiday. <laughs>